Wisdom Teachings from Archangel Michael by Rana Vazain, Sacred Scribe You are a white fire seed, Adam, of all that is. Beloved Masters, in the very beginning each of you were one of the Holy Innocent Ones, a brilliant spark of the Supreme Creator. When it came your turn to externalize and awaken, you suddenly were aware of your godliness as a white fire seed atom of all it is. Then came a startling awareness of your own conscious, I am presence, as an individualized facet of the Creator. This awakening of souls has continued at every level, in every dimension of creation throughout this universe. It continues today as great beings of light are brought forth to create new galaxies, solar systems, planets, and worlds without end. In these extraordinary times, to one degree or another, there is a major, eternal, transformational process occurring within every soul on Earth. Individually, you are experiencing a clearing and cleansing process as well as modification and expansion in various areas of your physical, mental, emotional, and etheric bodies. These changes are necessary if you are to hold up under and integrate the ever-increasing vibrational frequencies which are bombarding your Earth at this time. As an awakening starseed, there are an ever-increasing number of energy fields of consciousness available to you. Just as the Creator Light pours forth from the cosmic treasury of light to be used by the Elohim and builders of form, this rarefied light is available to those of you who are now attuned to at least the higher fourth and lower fifth dimensional frequency patterns. Each star in the galaxy is a node of vibrational energy frequencies. Each person functions as a living star capable of receiving and conveying harmonious frequency patterns according to his or her level of consciousness. These frequencies are called soul song. The universe is composed of one gigantic celestial soul song. Your seven major chakra centers could be likened to seven electrical batteries or seven dynamic force centers within the physical vessel. You draw forth into these seven major power centers the specific qualities, attributes, and virtues of the seven rays of God consciousness via the radiance of the seven great archangels who overlight humanity. The manner in which you qualify and use these energies determines your energetic signature and your soul song. Your supersensitive, awakened fellow human beings feel your resonance and can discern whether it is benevolent or discordant. The Devi Kingdom Angels are bearers of cosmic sacred fire and could be called sacred fire beings. They function within the etheric planes of existence and they along with the other great fire beings you have named dragons are the transmitters of the metatronic light substance of this universe. This rarefied life essence is constantly radiated forth from the heart core of our Father Mother God into great storage units, pyramids of light, which are strategically placed throughout the vast dimensional and subdimensional realms of creation. Under the direction of the Elohim, the great Devic Angelic Kingdom overlight the mountains, oceans, great forests, and lakes to the tiniest elementals who radiate life sustenance of God essence to the waters, earth, trees, flowers, and every blade of grass. These wondrous beings also supply the extremes of life force energy for every facet of creation that is not blessed with an individual God seed atom, a soul, and the I am consciousness of being. A spark of the Supreme Creator essence is in all things, from the greatest to the smallest. Each and every one of you had to undergo what could be called an apprenticeship under those master builders so that you could become proficient at molding and creating a great variety of things of a corporal nature. While in the higher levels of universal light, it seemed to be a fairly simple process to mold and create that which you wish to manifest. Also, it was because you were functioning in the realm of pure thought where there were no distortions or negativity to contaminate the seed thoughts sent forth from within your sacred mind. And because you were drawing forth the maximum amount of creator light available to you at that time within this universal experience. 
it becomes increasingly more difficult to hold the pure seed thoughts of manifestation in each stepped down level or dimension as you refract yourself into more and more sparks or fragments of God consciousness. Therefore, is it any wonder that humanity has to struggle for so long to manifest that which is needed and desired while existing in the restrictive, distorted third, fourth dimensional world of reality? You must release old, restrictive, outmoded, fear-based frequencies and replace them with the appropriate level of God consciousness and universal laws which will assist you on your current path of illumination. This is a step-by-step -step process and it cannot be rushed. It is the ego that constantly desires more information, especially dramatic and sensational news and revelations, even though most often there is no desire to integrate or make use of the information. However, during these critical times of accelerated change and evolution, a divine dispensation has been given to somewhat relax the requirements and to speed up the process of divulging the more advanced universal laws and cosmic wisdom in order to assist humanity on the path of ascension. It has always been a slow process of learning the rules, guidelines, and requirements for each step on the path. Qualities, abilities, and knowledge must be integrated and perfected so that the higher truths become part of who you are. When you are living your new truths as a natural part of your beingness, the wisdom garnered from the information is stored for future use within a facet of your higher self that resides on the causal plane of existence. This wisdom becomes a permanent part of your I Am consciousness. You must understand that your I Am presence is a vast source of light and creator wisdom. However, you and the multiple facets of your higher self within this universe contain all the wisdom and experience you have garnered during your many sojourns and vast experiences throughout time and space. All of your positive experiences, successes and wisdom gained during all your lifetimes within this universal experience are stored in white fire memory seed atoms within your sacred mind. When your energetic signature reaches a certain frequency level, you automatically begin to tap into the gifts, information and wisdom that are stored within your sacred mind and also within the mind of your higher self residing on the mental causal plane. Remember, it is vitally important that you filter all new information and knowledge through your own sacred heart and sacred mind centers before you accept it as your truth. It has taken many ages to incorporate the distorted energy you now carry. However, this is a time of miracles and there was another special divine dispensation given by our Father Mother God, whereby every effort you make to return to self-mastery will be magnified and accelerated during these wondrous evolutionary times of ascension. Self-mastery is always gained through the process of upgrading your consciousness and increasing your capacity to integrate and radiate more divine light substance. In the process, you will become a pathfinder, a way-shower, and a world-server filled with goodwill for all beings as you radiate unconditional love, light out into the world. Your awareness will gradually expand to include all humanity and the Earth, as well as the solar system, galaxy, and universe. No longer can your primary focus be on the little self alone. Your ultimate goal is to become a galactic citizen and eventually a universal being of light. Expansion of consciousness results in the wherewithal to tap into higher, more complex information. This will result in the ability to integrate more and more of the virtues, qualities, and talents of our Father Mother God. In the third, fourth dimensional environment, the human emotions rule. In the higher levels of the fourth and lower levels of the fifth dimensions, the mental nature and more refined abilities are predominant because they are overlighted by the purity and illumination of the sacred mind, sacred heart, and higher self. Dear hearts, do not read the profound statements we give you such as the ones below. Rather study them and commit them to memory, for within these words of wisdom are critical factors you will wish to draw upon when you are perfecting your self-mastery and also when you are called upon to share your hard-earned wisdom with others. A master seeks his or her highest truth then lives it to the best of his or her ability. You must allow all others the same right. A master learns to view the world and its great drama from a loftier vantage point. 
A master is adept at manipulating energy, always for the greatest good. He or she exists in a vortex of harmonious spiritual forces. Ascension is mind and soul expanding, forever passing from one state of heightened consciousness to another. Time becomes malleable as you move out of the linear timeline into the spiraling, undulating, vibrational waves of the higher dimensions. You have entered into an age of conscious awareness. A conscious awareness of the awakening to the nudgings of your soul self are steps in attaining self-mastery. The master knows when to speak and when to be silent. The master is deliberate in his or her speech. Constant mind chatter and senseless gossip disturb the tranquility of your auric field. You are to seek the harmonious higher wave frequencies of light in all things. Knowledge alone divides, wisdom and soul awareness unite. As an initiate on the path, you are constantly increasing your capacity for integrating creator light. When you deny any facet of your divinity, you are denying your divine wholeness. The universe is constantly remaking and redefining itself via the impulses and desires of the Supreme Creator and our Father Mother God. The Supreme Creator's desire is to experience individuality by refracting itself into an unimaginable number of various size sparks of Creator Consciousness. The Omniverse is filled with dancing, flowing, merging, and separating white fire memory seed atoms of divine light. The Creator is alive and conscious in each and every one of these fragments, no matter how large or how small. Space is an entity within itself waiting to be programmed or molded into infinite possibilities. Question. How do we know if we have any etheric tears? If so, how do we know where they are located and how do we heal them? Archangel Michael. Healing tears in the auric field is a process that is initiated as soon as you begin the integration of more of your higher soul self. As you begin to integrate more higher frequency energy into your physical vessel, which initiates the process of balancing and harmonizing your chakra system, one of the major benefits is that any etheric tears you may have will gradually begin to heal. Often you will have physical discomfort in areas where there are tears or etheric scar tissue in your auric field. The most prevalent auric tears are in the areas of the three lower chakras across the heart center, solar plexus, or in the back of the body between the shoulder blades. You can speed up the process by going into your personal pyramid. Lie on the crystal table and ask your angelic helpers to scan your body and let you know where or if there are any etheric tears in your auric field. If you get an indication that there are some tears, state to me, Archangel Michael, I ask that you seal those tears with your blazing sword of light and it will be done. This process may take a while, however the healing process will begin. It will accelerate as you access the higher vibrational patterns of light bringing in more adamantine particles of light via the infinity breath and toning the vowel sounds are also a great benefit, or it will assist in the healing and harmonizing of your auric field as well as your four lower bodily systems. My brave ones, no matter where you live or the conditions you are presently living in, there is a grand opportunity for you to begin the process of attaining self-mastery. You are urgently needed as a bearer of light and a world server. This applies to every one of you reading this message. I surround and enfold you in an auric field of protection. I am forever your guardian and faithful companion. I am Archangel Mikael.